everyone and welcome to Brixham in Devon. You join me just having a bit of fish and chips for lunch and then I'm going to walk down the breakwater and show you the beautiful marina and harbour here at Brixham. Just where I'm sitting now I saw two seals yesterday and I'm going to put some footage in here of what I saw yesterday. You probably won't be able to see them but I'll try and point out where they are. So just up there you'll see the Breakwater Bistro and that's where I got my fish and chips and they were absolutely delicious. The fish was actually fresh bricks and fish. As you can see there's quite a lot of people out today enjoying the February fresh air. So as I mentioned in my introduction I've come down to the end of the Breakwater here in Brixham and I'm going to walk back and I'm going to show you the marina and then down to the harbour and we're going to have a look at the Golden Hind as well which is a pirate boat but I'll show you that as we go past it. It's a glorious day I've been waiting for sunshine I've been waiting so long to film this video <laughs> and the sun has finally come out and I'm just by the lighthouse here which you can probably see behind me. So this breakwater juts out 400 meters or about half a mile to sea and it makes a really pleasant walk from the marina. It is closed sometimes though in extremely bad weather. So I'm on the lower path on the breakwater. There's also a higher path as well as you can see people walking along there. Brixham is a coastal town in Torbay in Devon and its main industries are fishing and tourism. Just over there the multicoloured, brightly coloured houses of Brixham. I don't think you can really see them in this light, but we're going to go and have a look at those as well. So, as I think I said earlier, this is a February day. It's a Monday afternoon in February and there's lots of people out and about. Oh, it's just turned into such a glorious afternoon for this walk. I was really thinking the grey skies weren't going to lift, but they have, and it is just absolutely beautiful. So you may well be used to seeing Brixham in the summer but it's also a gorgeous destination any time of year. So just panning around to the left you'll probably be able to see a blue building. I'll just go in a bit closer. And that is Shulstone Swimming Pool. It's a seawater swimming pool and it's open between May and November each year and it's lifeguarded between May and September. So from the top of the breakwater we are going to turn right and head towards the town centre along past the marina. I can see the sun is totally in the wrong direction but I hope you enjoyed the walk anyway. So I'm just walking past the Torbay lifeboat station. There's the Torbay lifeboat just there and we have lovely views over the marina. And just here we have a mermaid statue and a swan. Just over there you can see Brixham's very famous multicoloured houses. Well you could if the uh, sun was in the right direction. I'm going to insert some clips of these houses so that you can see the beautiful colours of them. It's difficult, I waited all day for the sunshine and now the sun's out, it's in the wrong direction from the walk I want to take. So I'm going to keep looking back. beautiful garden here called the Grenville Cottage Garden and it was created by Pride in Brixham volunteers. And just here we have Grenville House Outdoor Education Centre. Lots of places along the waterfront to eat. This is the Prince William.
So this is the lovely Mayflower Garden, also created by the Pride in Brixham volunteers. This bronze statue is called Man and Boy, and it was built to commemorate lives lost at sea, and also to celebrate Brixham's fishing heritage. Some really lovely views over the harbour from here. There's lots of places to eat along here and many of them are open at the moment as well in February. So we're coming up really close now to the Golden Hind. So there's coloured houses both sides of the harbour, that's the other side from what we've been looking at. This ice cream shop here is doing a roaring trade today. Loads of places for fish and chips. Another one as well. We've also got a lovely pasty shop and confectionery shop as well. So here we are, very close up to the Golden Hind now. You can see some people having a look around it. The Golden Hind in Brixham is one of only two full-size replicas of Sir Francis Drake's famous ship. It's been in Brixham for over 50 years and it's an all-weather attraction with lots of indoor exhibitions and activities. So this undercover area, I believe they have like craft markets and things here. There's also a lovely bar here, which would be beautiful in really nice weather, just by the harbour. On this stone and near this spot, William, Prince of Orange, first set foot on his landing in England on the 5th of November, 1688. So that's the view from the direction I've just come. And then just heading down this way, you'll see there's loads of places where you can book boat trips and ferry rides. Lots of pubs as well, just behind me, you'll see the Sprat and Mackerel. So I'm just going to continue my walk down this way past the Rockfish restaurant. So I'm just going to go down this way. And again, just beautiful views over the harbour as the sun is going down. Just love the squawking of the seagulls. And there's places open along here as well to buy food and drinks and refreshments and more places to buy tickets during the season for things like the steam train trips and this is where the passenger boats go from. There's a memorial here for people who lost their lives at sea. So if I pan around here look down towards the marina where we started off, just over there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little look around Brixham. It's just a short introduction to Brixham really, and I hope it brings back lots of happy memories for you if you've been here yourself. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. I'll be posting content all throughout the year, so you'll be notified when I do that if you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. So thanks for watching everybody, bye for now.